Hey everyone, Dave here, the NC Picker. How's it going? Am I in focus? I don't really know. I've got this new lens and the focus might be soft this whole episode. Doesn't seem like it auto focuses. Maybe it's got a fixed focal point, like right there seems to be in focus. So if I hold it here, I think I'm in focus. This, we'll use this episode, or we'll use this lens for one episode. If it's a little soft on the focus, I'll know when I'm editing and I won't do it again, but make sure you comment and let me know anyways. Uh, but if it looks good, I'll use this. I like it, it's a little wider angle. I feel like it's been forever since I recorded it was Sunday, it's now Tuesday, but it's just been, it's been a very long two days because of my teeth and personal stuff, which maybe I'm gonna share the personal stuff. I don't know if I should. Maybe I will because it ended well and not poorly. <laughs> I feel like if it had ended more poorly, maybe I'd keep it closer to the vest. But since it's got a positive ending, maybe we'll talk about that too. Um, but yeah, my tooth has been terrible, absolutely terrible. And a lot of you guys commented, you know, one comment that really stuck out to me was, uh, I think it was from John Yard Sale. I can't remember his name now, but I met him at a, a flea market, nice guy, and his wife. And basically they said, any, and I don't think this is entirely true, but it did resonate with me. Anytime you get a crown, you need to get a root canal, otherwise you're wasting your time. Which, you know, after researching root canals, like they take out the nerve. And if I had no nerve right now, I would not be in massive pain. So that did resonate with me as an idea, like, wow, they should have just done a root canal. And my dentist, you know, so let me tell you what happened Wednesday. First of all, Polar Express sold. I guess I gotta hold it here. Polar Express sold on DVD, brand new sealed, sold for $5 plus shipping. I'm not one to make fun of a dentist, but I don't think my dentist is very good. I'll say that. I went in and he basically said, yeah, it all looks good. I said, yeah, but I haven't been sleeping. I'm in agony, the worst pain of my life. You know, I don't think it's good. And he's like, no, you're fine. Everything looks good. If you don't think it's fine, why don't you talk to an endo dentist, which is like a, a root canal dentist, I guess. Maybe you need a root canal, he said, but I don't know. Oh, these are all inside, FL106. Let me go get this bin. Hold on, I'll be right back. I got FL106 from inside. It's this bin. Tina had just been listing it, that's why. I also listed some, did I list some? Yeah, I listed some yesterday, a bunch of Funko Mystery Minis, which are really cool little Funko figures like this big that I got at a, a garage sale. I bought a huge lot of them and I listed like maybe 10 of them. And I think the total value of those listings was like uh, $300 or something, but that's because one I listed super high. One is a Carl, it's a Bolo alert. I should go grab it and show you guys. I feel worn out, I'll be honest. I like, I've been stressed stressed this last month. Tina has been stressed with me. The dental thing, this Paw Patrol thing sold. It's a little, was that Rocky Rebel? I don't know their names. That's probably in the listing. It is Rocky. Sold for five dollars plus shipping. So anyways, I went to the dentist and he's like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It could be, it could need a root canal, but I'm not sure. It was basically the answer I got from my dentist. So not overly helpful at all. And he gave me the number for an endodentist, endodontist, and I decided not to listen to him. And I just started searching for like the best endodentist in the area and I found one that I think is really good and I called them I didn't call them right away because he said you know give it like a couple more days and see if the pain goes away and I was like okay I will and so I didn't call anyone on Monday then last night I went out with my family to St. Augustine maybe I can put a clip of that in here I probably got a couple little clips uh, St. Augustine is like the oldest city in America and we went and we saw the Christmas lights it's very pretty nice family event I didn't have ibuprofen with me though and I went past the time where I was supposed to take it and so there was like what do they call it when like pain gets crazy? Like a breakout, a breakout in the pain of the tooth. And when that happens, it's like really hard to get it to settle back down. And that's basically what happened again. And oh, man, by like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, I was in agony with the tooth. And I was like calling endo dentist last night, trying to get an appointment for today. I couldn't get a hold of anyone, but then I called this morning at 7.45, the one that I wanted to use the most, and they answered and they got me in for tomorrow at 7 a.m. for an emergency root canal on that tooth. I mean, they're gonna check it first, make sure it's necessary, but based on the amount of pain I'm in and the fact that it's been seven days of this pain and it's only getting worse, they do think I probably need one and that's gonna cost me $1,300. So that's <laughs> super exciting since the, the crown cost 1,200. This is gonna be like a $3,000 tooth, guys. And it, you can't even see it, it's on the way back. It's like the very back tooth next to the wisdom tooth. I sold this Sears robot calendar for how much? $8.49 plus shipping. Just got this at a yard sale for 50 cents, but it's cool, it's from 1970. And it's not a calendar, it's a catalog. 
Did I say calendar? My bad. And I got a note. Hi Dave, wanted to get a few more items out of your store. Great videos. I've been binge watching all the videos on your channel. Oh, awesome, Keith. Thank you. God bless you and your family. Have a blessed Christmas and New Year. Your friend Keith from Minnesota. Keith, I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. And thank you for purchasing that Robux calendar catalog. It's cool. I don't know. Ah. And I'll just let you know that I provide an extra service here. I drop all your items. <laughs> Uh, not normally, but every now and then. Okay, another thing out of FL106. Okay, so let's talk about the other stress because, you know, I just tell you guys everything. You're my best friends, you know, so I just talk to you and I tell you all about my life. About a month ago, Tina, my wife, and this is a little personal, it's definitely something most people probably wouldn't share, but I will, felt a lump in her chest. Okay, a lump. And I already told you the story ends happy, so don't go getting stressed like I've been for the last four weeks. But that has been weighing on me a lot for this last month. She went and got some testing, some like, you know, where they look at it, like when the baby's in the belly, whatever that's called, like that little probe thingy ultrasound. And they said, yeah, that's concerning. We need to get it biopsied. And so then there's a biopsy and it's just been a whole runaround for like four weeks of this. Very stressful. And today we got back the news, finally, that it is not malignant, it is benign, it is nothing, it is not a big deal. They wanted to keep checking it every year, but it's nothing serious. I'm really relieved, but I've like been so stressed about it for like a month that it's like, I don't know, what do you feel like when a stress you've had turns into nothing after a month of stressing about it? I, I'm relieved, I'm excited, but I also feel weird and so does Tina. She said she feels very drained from this whole experience. Sold this blood sugar log book for $4, not much. I don't even, I think I got that for free at a yard sale. It was annoying though, because like the doctor wouldn't give us any answers over the phone and they wanted her to come in to get the results, but they didn't have an appointment till December 19th, which I was like, well, December 19th is like a long time away. I feel like they'd have us in quicker if it was something urgent. And uh, yeah, we ended up kind of working around the doctor. We got the results and the results are fine. So anyways, it was scary. I don't know why I tell you that. I guess I tell you that just because like, I don't know, who else can I tell? <laughs> I tell you guys, you know. Tina said I could talk about it and uh, she's, you know, feeling very good that everything came back fine and that there's no issue. So I guess we're excited, you know, share this victory with us that there was nothing serious going on. All right, this is like four movies. So I'm not sure what I would have put it under as far as names go. But yeah, it's a relief. It's a relief. Once this tooth stops hurting, I'm really gonna be excited. You know, all the all the good things. Uh, here it is, Turner Classic Movies, Greatest Hits, Brand New Seal. This is The Cowboys, Rio Bravo, Fort Apache, and The Searchers. All four Westerns that I've never seen, but some of you might have sold a lot for 10 bucks plus shipping. Oh man, my memory card's full. So on this channel, guys, we pull our orders. We pull our eBay orders. And because I'm pulling eBay orders, I like to just tell you about my life, things like that, what's going on. And in the last video, I think it was, we read some comments that I found very moving. There was several very nice comments, encouraging comments, things like that. And uh, I almost cut out because I got a little emotional. I almost cut it out, but I was like, you know, I'm going to leave it in because, you know, why hide it? It's not bad to care. It's not bad to be emotional. Like that's, that's something that's okay. And I don't think I need to hide it. I sold this patch. This is McNair Gooby Smith, Scoby, Scoby Smith, Jarvis, this is some, some, what is it called? Aerospace, uh, NASA type D. Look, I can't get a zoom in on it. It doesn't focus. But anyways, it's a patch. I'm sure it looks fine on your phone or whatever. But for me on this little tiny display next to the camera, it's hard for me to see. But anyways, it's a spaceship patch. Sold that for 10 bucks plus shipping. That's pretty cool. I don't remember where I got it, but. Oh, it went to Keith. Thank you, Keith. That went to you as well. Uh, I need to get another memory card. I'll be right back. Okay, I got a new card that's full. And while I was in there, Tina asked me what I want for dinner. And I was like, oh, I want, I want the new ramen I got, which is like, you know, not a fancy meal, but I found this new ramen. Someone at my work told me about it. It's on Amazon. And I, I love like the 28 cents or 42 cent Maruchen ramen, right? It's like totally terrible for you, but every now and then I like to have it. I splurge and I have some ramen and this ramen that they recommended is so insane that I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give this ramen company a free sales pitch on my channel. <laughs> because I think it's that good. Let me get this Mary Kay first. You gotta try this, it's amazing. Uh, lip gloss golden door out of FL46. So let's grab this out of here. Look at this really cute plushie I have. I should sell that on whatnot. People would like it on there. Yeah, a whole bunch of Mary Kay golden door. I've got four of these and I think one sold. Is that right? I'm gonna bring the whole thing down just in case more sold. Um, 
Yeah, no, wait, it says four sold. I must have had seven. Yeah, buyer bought one. Okay, so let me show you this ramen. This is what sold. Oh, how much did it sell for? It sold for eight bucks plus shipping. Let me put this back. Okay, so this stuff, have you had this yet? It's called, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> it's called the thing she sent me a link to, Indomie instant noodles. But let me show you why it's cool, okay? And I'm gonna cook this tonight for dinner so I can open it up. Eh. Okay, check this out. You know how ramen usually has that like one little packet of stuff? This has five little packets of stuff. <laughs> it's got, uh, what is this called? Minyak bamboo seasoning oil. That's this one. Some sort of K-E-C-A-P K -E -C -A -P sauce. And then it's got sambal chili sauce. And then over here it's got bawang goreng seasoning and fried onions. I don't know. It's got five things. You put them all in there and it's like ramen but turned up to 11. I'm gonna, you know. I'm gonna eat that tonight. I might go eat it now. Maybe I'll stop recording and eat it and come back. Yeah, I'll pull a couple more orders. Here's what I'll say. <laughs> I'll put a link down below for ramen, an affiliate link. So if you buy this, I'll get like a dollar. Probably not a dollar, probably 50 cents. It's like $22 for 30 packs. And I'm telling you, I want, I want their reviews if you do buy it because it's like amazingly good. FL78, that's 30 meals for 22 bucks. The Rocky Story, is this a CD? It's a CD. All right, they didn't even pay me for that, guys. They didn't even pay me for that integration. <laughs> I don't think ramen companies are paying YouTubers anyways. Uh, where is it? F oh my gosh. Uh, I think it's down here. Yeah. Rocky on CD sold. This is a brand new CD. The Rocky Story, original emotional sound, picture soundtrack went to Keith as well, $12.99 plus shipping. Hey Dave, Keith again, I was wondering if I could get a sticker and an autograph to add to my favorite reseller channel. You and Kevin, the Commonwealth Pickers are my favorites. Thanks again. Okay, Keith, I will. Oh, what do I, I'll just autograph a piece of paper. How about that? I'm a very bad writer. I'm not like Kevin, I didn't go to autograph school. <laughs> He didn't really go to autograph school. I told Tina, I said, I've got to get out there and record Flipper like right away because I've just recently had medicine. When I take, so what I've been doing is I've been taking two ibuprofen and two Advils. And if I take both, like phase them, right? Like you do two Advils, you wait two hours, you take two Tylenols. And then you wait four hours, take two more Advils and two hours and you take two Tylenols. That's been working really well. Originally I was handling it by just taking more than the recommended dose of Advil, but a bunch of you told me I'd die and my liver would explode. So I <laughs> stopped doing that. <laughs> now I'm just doing this phase thing, which I think is healthier and a better idea. So that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for the Ds. Here we go, Donkey Kong. But if I do that, Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I don't miss a dose, I'm not in much pain at all. Like right now, I have like no pain. But if I let the time lapse or miss it by an hour and I get this like breakout of insane pain, oh, Donkey Kong Country on the Wii, it sells for 13 bucks now, I guess, 12.99 plus shipping. Then it's hard to rein it in, so. Yeah. And for some reason that like eugen oil, the clo clove oil or whatever has stopped working. I'm not sure why, like I built an immunity to it or what the deal is, but it just completely stopped working. Um, it does nothing now. It just burns my lip like crazy when I use it. So I don't know. I don't know what happened there. All I know is I am really excited about potentially having this feel better. Is this it? No. In a couple, tomorrow even. I don't know, tomorrow I'm sure it'll still hurt from like the Novocaine and all that. And I've never had a root canal. That's a whole separate topic. <laughs> I have no idea what a root canal feels like, but I'm guessing bad. I think it's pretty crazy. Someone who's totally terrified of the dentist like myself, absolutely terrified. Anxiety attacks, all that stuff when I go to the dentist. They check my blood pressure, it's through the roof when I'm there. And for some reason, I am pumped <laughs> about going to the dentist tomorrow. I've never been this excited for a dentist appointment. Uh, but you know, that just shows the level of pain I'm in. If my biggest fear has become my biggest relief coming tomorrow. So this sold this department, 56 uh, flower monger cart, 11 bucks plus shipping. Let me get some water, I'll be right back. Okay, FL96, we sold something. What was I talking about? I've had a brain fart now. Um, hmm, ums, they play well. I'll probably have to cut that in post. FL96, I'm pulling Mr. Potato Head. This was cool, I got this at the flea market. I paid like three bucks, two to three bucks, maybe two. Uh, sold him for 12 bucks plus shipping. They're pretty cute. I like him. And let's see, we also sold something out of FL57. Yeah, tonight I have a whatnot auction. So I'm like completing that. I don't know, I might've talked about it on Monday's video, but basically I didn't sell all the stuff I had for my auction. Actually, I'm gonna go upstairs because I have something to pull and I wanna show you what I'm gonna do tonight. The auction will already be over by the time you see this because this will go live on Wednesday and the auction's Tuesday night. But like I said, you can always follow my account and then it'll notify you when I go live. Teddy Swim sold from Westworld. 
This is something I got uh, on Whatnot. I was just supporting someone, a viewer, and I paid like five bucks for it, sold it for 12, 11. So not a great profit, but you know, I was able to help them out and uh, you know, support them. It was their first auction. And I was trying to, you know, just help them out. Okay, so I've been getting ready for my auction a little bit, but not much. Um, but tonight we're adding these to the auction, which I just bought. These are Funko Mystery Minis. I think I might have some out of the bag over here. Not to say I was playing with toys at work, but I might've been playing with toys. I get fidgety, so I play with toys. Um, but so like this is Walking Dead Carl, little Mystery Mini Funko from 2014. Carl. Yeah, no beard. That's how you know it's Carl. He's got the cowboy hat, no beard, holding the keys. I guess he was young, like a teenager. He sells for like 10 bucks, fine. But his his bloody version, the version that has blood on it, sells for a lot more. The latest comp I can find on eBay is from Worth Point in 2017, where this guy, Carl with blood on him, right here, I've got them listed. Sold for $168. See, there's, the only difference is like the blood on the shirt, blood on the face. $168 is what he sold for. So that's a bolo alert. I don't know what I'll get for him because that was 2017. I listed high because none are listed. I can't find any. So I listed for 250 bucks and I do have a watcher, which I think is a pretty positive sign. Someone was telling me that it's a chase. I've heard that term before, a chase. I don't know what it means. Maybe in the comments, if you're like an action figure pro, let me know what's the word chase mean in regards to action figures, toys, like, hey Dave, that's a chase. So that means it's worth more money, but why? I don't know what that means. I'd be interested in your opinion in the comments below. Um, okay, so I'm up here also to pull an order, right up here, the Swarsky, Swarvosky, Swar, Swarvosky. <laughs> You guys have told me how to say it a million times. I just, I never use the brain space to actually remember it. It's an ornament though. It's a crystal ornament. Let's make sure it's not broken. And I guess this is another bolo. Got it at a yard sale for two or three dollars. And uh, it's a snowflake. It's really pretty. I like how the light shines off of it. Uh, we sold it for a lot, not as much as I expected. When I first bought it, the comps were like a hundred bucks. But I've had it listed now since summertime. And I mean, Christmas is just coming now, but I, I never got much interest in it, but it did finally sell with my coupon because uh, actually it might not even been the coupon. It might've been Tina sending an offer. I think it sold for 70, but I'm gonna walk downstairs and I'll tell you. Okay, so this ornament sold for, let me see if I can find it, 98, but I think they got the coupon. That's, that must be it, let me look. Yeah, they got the coupon, she took 20 bucks off, 88. So $78 plus shipping, they paid 89 total for that ornament, I paid $3. So that was actually a really good flip. Took a little minute. I was with Brandon, CVA Thrifts, uh, and there's a video of it, of me and Brandon and me finding that, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Did I say Teddy Swims or Teddy Flood? This is Teddy Flood, not Teddy Swims. Teddy Swims is like a super tattooed singer guy on YouTube. Totally different. Or is he? Yeah, I think he's on YouTube. I, I don't know. Maybe I saw him on Spotify. I saw him somewhere. Oh, I sold a, I sold a, a clothing item. Very rare. Out of FL22. I always get scared. Oh, I see it actually right here. Right in my path of vision. Okay, so this is, oh, why am I pointed so high? <laughs> this is uh, one that sold. This is a H shirt. It's got an H on it and it's got colors and it's like kind of a windbreaker thing. It's kind of nice. I don't know what H means. That's probably my listing. Clutch apparel, softball, baseball jacket, XL, convertible. I don't know. I don't, what's this H mean? Is that a sports team? It's got to be a sports team, but I don't know if it's like a, you know, a town sports team or something. But yeah, so the Whatnot auction is six, seven, eight, like two hours from now. And so that should be good. Hopefully we, we sell some stuff. FL1, we sold something. Yeah, so this weekend is that big parade thingy with my dad's car. We're going to be going, I don't know, I don't think I have to be in the parade. But then again, with my mom, you never know. <laughs> If you saw the whole St. Augustine thing where we were, I did a live on Instagram and only like 25 people were there. But if you're one of the few people there, you can see my mom just everyone walks by, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, <laughs> just like everyone. It was very cute. Yeah, she's a cutie. Um, Dad's Christmas tradition sold. It's a Department 56 with a blue little sign on it. Normally it's green, the ones I've had recently. Uh, this sold for $19 plus shipping, so that's not bad. $18.99. I round up a lot, guys. Don't judge. It's just easier. But yeah, so those, all those like little 
mystery mini thingies I got at a yard sale this weekend in a big bulk buy. And just that one blood splattered Carl is gonna pay for the whole entire buy. So everything I sell, I mean, that's when he sells and he may never sell, but I really feel like he will because it's the only one that's been even listed on eBay in quite a while. So even if someone sends me an offer of like 150, I'll heavily consider it. Um, but we'll see what happens. This Santa sold, he sings and stuff. All right, so my mic died during the recording. It should have like an audible beep when it's dying so that I know it's dying so that I won't have the last, you know, couple minutes of my video cut off. But we're, but we're just gonna do a voiceover instead. And yeah, it should be good. All right, first of all, cause I didn't want you to miss it. Watch what this guy does. I show you in the video, but it doesn't work because the mic's broken. <laughs> Very cute, right? We sold that for like 12 bucks. All right, so now we join Dave with the broken audio, checking out that Santa I just showed you. It's cute. I really get a kick out of the elves dancing. I think I even laugh about it visually. Let's see. Yeah, I was laughing about it. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm hilarious. Yeah, I've got Callie on standby. She has a part. She has a role in this play that's about to play out and she's waiting for her moment to come on screen. No, I'm not. <laughs> but uh, basically what we're doing is we're looking at our orders and we're gonna go pull them. And let me see, I'm gonna pull it up on my computer here too so I can actually tell you what things sold for because I don't have it memorized. And I'm not even sure. So right now, what are we talking about, Callie? I think we're talking about, ah, see, this is like the lost footage. I have no idea what I'm talking about. No, you're talking about like the item. I could be talking about the item. Yeah, I could be saying, oh, this sold and it's so cool. And you know, when I see the item, oh, I know what it is. It's this Star Wars thing. And I said, oh, I sold this for $12, but then I realized I sold it for $17.99. Also, I couldn't find it. So I had to go back to the computer, look at it again. Oh, and that was the problem. I was looking in the wrong bin. I was looking in bin 104, but it was actually in bin four. That's why I went back and got my phone, or not my phone, what's that thing called that I carried? The ladder. Um, yeah. The ladder. Okay, so now we're looking in here, and we're going to find this really exciting item. You got to get ready. Just don't don't tune out, because this is an exciting item. Ready, Callie? What do you think it is? Here it uh, comes. Star Wars. Yeah, it's Star Wars. Wait, mm -hmm. you're not in the screen yet. You can't talk yet. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here it is, a little Star Wars thing. That's a yeah. Hoth snow speeder. That's the thing with the AT-ATs, which you're building one in the Lego one right now. Try not to hit the table. You're building one of those little walkers. These little guys went around in circles and like shot these little ropes, tow cables, and tripped them in the movie and made them fall and explode. Anyways, that sold for uh, $17.99. That's a lot for a little toy. I got it for like 50 cents at a yard sale. So that's good. Now this is a extreme close-up of my beard. I'm not really sure what's happening here, Kelly. Here like, it is, the beard. Cool pose. He's posing. Am I posing? Yeah, I'm posing. <laughs> this is just okay. I must be looking up something or talking to Tina or you. I might even be talking to you, Callie. Is no, this no. where you came in? Yeah. I don't know. I guess not. Or, no, it was. No, it wasn't. Because you would see me go through the door, and I would say, "Um, or like Miss Lassie." It goes looked. Through. It looked like I was talking, though, didn't it? I mean, who was I oh. talking to? Now I'm thinking, whenever I think really hard, You're I stick... You're talking to the viewers. Whenever I think really hard, I stick my tongue out. There oh, you go, okay. Oh. amigos. Yeah, this is where you said, hola, como estas, amigos. That's right. You're like, that's pretty good. Yeah, so that was pretty good Spanish. You jumped up and tried to grab that rope. <laughs> yeah, I want to pull it down and get hit my head. And then you said you wanted to pull orders, remember? Yeah. So you went and you pulled an order. You can't really see you in the camera here. I, I pulled um the... um. What'd you pull? You pulled, pulled the, the snake. a fossil kit. No, yeah. I remember it's a fossil, fossil kit. Fossil kit and the snake. Yeah, it's like a little build your little own fossils. or dig up your own fossils or whatever. And it's uh, brand new sealed. So I think someone probably bought it for a Christmas present. That's what we determined. Or a Hanukkah present. Some sort of present. <laughs> now oh, you're saying I was, where you're like, um, like, how was the drive and stuff? How was the golf cart? Yeah, in, uh, and Augustine. I said, okay. And then like now you're talking about when I was pulling the next item you are talking about. Hey, um, should we take a break and show you running through the lights with Henrik and Heidi? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's do that. Hold on. Now. <laughs> All right, so we're back. What did you think of that, Callie? Did you? Oh, like, did you? That was some good dance moves. I feel like you were the best dancer out of the crew. No. Uh, yeah. Heidi and her friend. Heidi and Henrik. Yeah, they're cute. Okay. So anyways, right here, we're basically looking at a computer screen and uh, saying... Because you're trying to say, like, how much it was. 
Oh, yeah. What did we just pull? The fossil kit? How much did yeah. that sell for? We said 17 bucks, right? Mm-hmm. 17, brand new shipped. Yeah. And plus now, shipping, plus shipping. Now I'm trying to grab the ladder to get the snake. Thing. The ladder to get the snake. Yeah, we got three plushes that sold, right? Three plush to uh -huh. one viewer, I think. Let me see. Actually, no, it wasn't a viewer, but one person. But I had to use the chair to get it. <laughs> yeah, what were the three plush? It was a snake. The, and and the that duck. was Elijah's. The snake the was duck. Elijah's. Yep. The duck, which was that duck that the lady was like hugging and stuff in the yeah. video when I bought it from her at the flea market. There's oh, the mom. snake. Yep. And so that snake sold for, yeah, there's mom actually. I didn't realize that. Sneaking in the corner. And the moose. The moose sold for $5.99. The snake sold for fourteen fifty. Oh. Elijah will be excited. We should tell him. Okay. And then the duck sold for ten dollars. Now pull I'm showing him his pose. Yeah, you're showing us how he could like stand up on his own without you doing anything, right? And you, yeah, I mean that's basically what happened. So now we're just talking about where we got this stuff, probably. Although I don't remember. I don't and know where Elijah I'm got saying, the snake. I'm saying, look, he can stand up, and you're like, yeah, he can. Yes, yes. So that's, I mean, I don't remember exactly what happened, guys. The mic died, but right now. This is the part where I'm just sitting there looking. Callie's pulling something to show us. Oh, close up of the beard again, Callie. Yeah, nice. another beard shot. <laughs> another beard shot. And Callie, <laughs> what did you have to show me? You had to show me something. Let's see what I it is. I had to show you the um, other like, kit that looks like oh, a fossil kit. Oh, Mega Earth Science Kit. So you found that in the same bin. And that's brand new sealed too. And you were trying to steal it, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was basically trying to steal that. It, Kelly is the number one inventory stealer in the family. I don't have anyone who steals more inventory than her. <laughs> no, like I'm Anna, not. Eli, they never steal inventory. Yes, but... Anna. Anna stole. Um, remember the time when like I stole your like um oh. box? I still have that box somewhere in my room. That. I that. Hey, can you go get me that medicine over there? Because I just realized I have to take my Advil right now. Right near the camera. Near the camera. Over there. Yeah, this is like live taking Advil uh, footage. This is good. Because my it's been six hours since I took it, so I can take it. <laughs> Callie's got the little Santa. This is great content, Callie. This is what the people wanted. La, 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 la. Yeah, hold on, hold on. We gotta get. We just pulled something. Oh. What did we just pull? We, we pulled an pulled order. Oh, Callie's climbing up. Duty. Oh, Tina said we pulled landscaping duty. Tina, we're recording because my mic died so we're just doing a voiceover oh, I, I was talking about yeah. um we didn't look i was like talking about um where like i was saying like um when i got there's down, a duck we yeah. finally got the duck ten dollars that sold for mm -hmm. yeah the next part is like me sitting down in the chair like talking about like what um i'm selling and i haven't sold for a long time now i'm like oh all your stuff you have listed on ebay and then you showed some stuff that you had listed that hasn't sold yet i remember that yeah yeah, Kelly has some stuff listed, but that's the thing, Kelly. You list and then you forget, and eventually it sells, and it's very yeah, exciting. like something that um that I listed in no months. I'm putting it on the auction. He wants to see it. Yeah, you can put it on the auction tonight. You're saying? I'm sure yeah, I this is super heavy. So this is something she had listed. We're gonna try to Cash sell it on sure. whatnot. It's gonna cost a fortune to ship, though. That's gotta be like six pounds. But we'll do it at the end of the night. Maybe someone will get discounted shipping on it. Callie's showing her baby shark and her narwhal. Those are all things she has listed Rainbow on the eBay store. Yeah, and so I was just talking to her about that stuff and how it doesn't always sell fast, but it'll sell eventually. The snake sold for fourteen fifty. Duck for ten. <clears throat> yeah, we already went through that. So was this? I think we have one more order to pull, right, Callie? Yes, the Bed Bath and Beyond stuff. Oh, close up of the beard again. <laughs> yeah, more nice. beard shots. More beard shots. Yeah. Mo Vero you know, and my 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 what's it called? Lens is kind of out of focus too, so it's like a lose lose. No Still no like sound. Spinning around. Out of focus lens. This is mayhem, guys. This is and my you worst episode ever. Showing pictures of your beard. Yeah, and the beard. Yeah. All right, Kelly. Let's finish it out though. Finish it out strong. Worst episode ever, but we're trying our hardest. Basically, now we've got some Bed Bath and Beyond body mist fragrance. Now I was like coconut. About the tiger. Yep, coconut flavored. And, or well, it's not flavored, but smelling. Sold for seventeen dollars plus shipping. This is where I show it to you. It's uh, is it Bed Bath? I think it's Bed Bath and Beyond. And I tried to steal it. Try, Callie yeah. tried to steal it. Anyways, this is pretty much the end of the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like and button. Like and share. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, and share. I never ask him to share. Yeah, share it, please. Share it with everyone. We want to get to ten thousand subscribers. I already have ten thousand subscribers. And two thousand subscribers. <laughs> 2,000 is less than 10,000. Wait, 3,000. 20. 20,000. There you go, 20,000. Okay.